Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Sam. We'll go back to another video. Hope you guys are very fun. Absolute here in the channel and a banger it is indeed because i'm bringing you five tips to go ahead and help you in farla 84. now of course whether you're watching this before or after global launch these tips will go ahead and help you improve so i'm not even gonna go ahead and make the intro long let's just get right into the video for tip number one i have massive sensitivity now when it comes down to any type of shooter you play you have to go ahead and master sensitivity and farlight is no exception you need to go ahead and have a good comfortable sensitivity to master those long engagements those medium engagements and those short engagement type of fight I actually have two videos on my channel, one showcasing the sensitivity that I use, it's really comfortable for me, and I have another video actually go ahead and showing you tips to how to go ahead and improve your aim. But I really would go ahead and recommend try to find a sensitivity that is really comfortable for you, and go and use that sensitivity for about a good week or so, see if it's right for you, practice it in the fire range, or I recommend go ahead and use the aim last mobile, which is the aim trainer that I use on a daily basis. For tip number two, I have learning the map. Now, when it comes down to learning the map, of course you want to have a spot where you can go ahead and land, get loot get a spot where you can go ahead and actually uh, rotate well and don't get into too much gunfire or at least put yourself in a spot where you don't want to go ahead and take too much gunfire but what i mean by learn uh learning the map i want you to go ahead and take the time to go into the map and really get used of the surroundings where far light being how it is and the movement with the jump pads and all that stuff you can easily go ahead and maneuver around buildings, around walls, and different types of structures really, really well. Especially if you take the time to actually learn how to go ahead and use the movement. So really, when you go ahead and you play for a light, you take the time to just study around your surroundings, study the map. Before we continue on to the other tips, I really would appreciate it if you can go ahead and smash that like button and also make that subscription as well too. It's a free way to go ahead and support me and my work and you can always change your mind later. I post daily onto this channel and it goes live six days a week. So I really would appreciate that. For tip number three, I have master every character and their ability. In Fallout 84, we all know that there's different characters with different abilities, such as MKR, Captain, Magri, etc, etc, etc. It is really important for you to go ahead and expand your horizons to different characters and get really, really used to them. Because you don't want to be a player that's just a one-trick pony, such as myself. <laughs> really, it's just important to go ahead and have at least two or three mains. That's so you, you can be versatile. And really, it will go ahead and teach you how to go ahead and counter those characters if you do go against them. For tip number four, I have communication and teamwork. Now, keep in mind, Farlight 84 is a team-based heavy video game. You do gotta have a, have a solid team to get the best results because going in solo and you don't have any type of communication, you're not working as a team, you're most likely gonna go ahead and get bodied by a group that has teamwork, and has communication, has mics, this, and the third. So I would recommend going ahead and finding a group of in individuals to go ahead and play with while playing Farlight 84. I do have a Discord where you can go ahead and join if you're trying to look for people. If you try to go ahead and join that, I do have a Discord link in my description down below. And finally, tip number five is just practice. Now, of course, everyone will go ahead and tell you practice, 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 but it really is the best way to go ahead and improve. If the more you play in Farlight 84, the more that you're going to go ahead and see improvement. The thing that is working out. You're not going to go ahead and see any type of gains in your muscles if you're not going ahead and put in the work to actually get those type of gains. You're not going to go ahead and see any type of improvement in Fallout 84 in your gameplay if you actually don't go ahead and take the time to practice your gameplay. Every time you get to a game in Fallout 84, just go ahead and question yourself how you die, how this happened, how that happened. And the more you question and the more you actually go ahead and take the time to actually wonder how this happened. Is actually gonna go ahead and help you a lot and it's gonna help you from stop making those mistakes. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. And if you did enjoy this, be sure to go ahead and check out my video here and check out my video here. I really would go ahead and appreciate that. Again, thank you so much for checking out my video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is your boy Cyrus signing out. Peace, y'all. I love you guys.